Hi there, my name is John Stevens, pastor of Zion Lutheran Church in Oregon City, Oregon, and we're part of the ELCA, and welcome to Dollar Store Children's Sermons, where we take a look at the lectionary text, tie them to an item from the Dollar Tree. This is for the fifth Sunday after Pentecost, and we're looking at the gospel lesson, and you could bring in the first lesson out of Job if you'd like. Uh, and it's all about God being in control, about how we can lay our fears at the feet of the cross, how we can say to God, I'm scared, let me give it all to you. The gospel lesson is the disciples where they're in the boat and they're going crossed and the storm comes up and they're all scared and Jesus is sleeping and they say, don't you care about us? <laughs> don't you care that we're going to die? And Jesus, I don't know what that accent was, but, uh, and then Jesus calms the sea and then says, why were you afraid? Uh, and I, I read in that, you know, don't you know, I've got this. I've, I, I could, I've got this. I control the sea, which is the uncontrollable, and is chaos, and trust me, give it to me, I've got this. And Job, in a similar way, in Job, where this is God's response. Job has, has given God an earful. God, uh, Job has said, you know, uh, he just, he, he is finally, he's raising his fists up into the sky, and he's, ah, and then God says, I just see God rolling up God's sleeves. Are you done yet? Are you done? Um, okay, my turn. Uh, where were you when I rolled out the heavens? Where were you when I rolled out the hills? Where were you when, did you do this? Are, do you control the lightning bolts? Do you, and it goes on and on and on. And it's, it's a way of God saying, look, um, I created all of this and I created you and it's, uh, yeah, it's just a great, great thing. Again, saying God going, um, I am creator and uh, I've got you. And so Job's, in, we, Job's definitely one of those books that you could spend an entire uh, uh, session, entire um, uh, series on if you'd like and still not get through it all. But back to the children's sermon, looking at the fact that God is in control and we can set our worries in front of Jesus and say, Jesus, here you go. Um, I need it. And Jesus comes to us and says, I've got this. I love the fact that Jesus is so assured that he's sleeping in the middle of chaos in the storm. And so, so the item I'm using is from the Dollar Tree is this guy right here. Hello, how are you? Now with the here, he's kind of, he's kind of got a cute little face reminds me of almost like a Pixar thing and they actually call this um, a googly friends it's a googly friends but um, it also reminds me of a snake it reminds me of a cat it reminds me of something that would scare me and so that's why I picked it up is because it reminded me of something that um, it would frighten me and now what's interesting is about the things that frighten us that when we start to look at them closely when we start to examine them a little bit, they're actually not as scary as I, we once thought. And this, this, when I first picked it up, I was like, this is going to scare me and started to look at it. And that as we bring things to God, as we bring things to Jesus, things that used to scare us might not be as scary anymore. And if they are, even if they are, or especially when they are, Jesus reminds us that Jesus is in control and Jesus will sit with us in our fears. Jesus will hold us in our fears and we have someone that we can give our fears to. And we as friends and people of God, we can also listen to one another and talk about and listen to each other's fears and talking about that and laying it out. The disciples being able to say, we are afraid is a good thing, is a needed thing. So this is the item I am using. Uh, the other thing that comes to mind with this is a VeggieTales song. And it's God is bigger than the boogeyman. God is bigger than the boogeyman. And he goes, goes on. I won't sing the entire thing. But it's a great little VeggieTales song. And if you can find it, it's a great one to use. So those are some thoughts on the children's sermon. And I hope they can be a springboard for your own thinking. 
And as always, thanks for stopping by, and I hope you have a fantastic week.